Welcome to Succeed Even If. I'm Tom Marku. And I'm Johanna McLeod. For this episode, our topic is Discover Your Strength in a Crisis, Your Focal Point Advantage. As we record this, it's a real tough time. In fact, Joanna, what has really given you extra stress or trouble during this coronavirus crisis? Plus, there's unrest in many places all over the world. I find that if I look at Facebook too long or broadcast news too long, I get upset. I hear you. In fact, it doesn't even have to take a long time. You could just be triggered by something. Mm -hmm. I have seen certain things that go, oh, that's horrible. Yeah. I get really concerned because I need to guard my energy. Do you feel that you also need to guard your energy? Oh, yeah. I try to turn off Facebook and try to basically limit my time exposing myself to stuff that I can't control. That is the center of our conversation. There is so much that we cannot control. We're not in the position. We need leaders, but we often get politicians. Mm -hmm. We can lead ourselves. And this is what I call your focal point advantage. And to get into the value of how we lead ourselves, I have kind of an unusual experience to share with you. Mm. Just because during the coronavirus crisis, I needed to deal with some storage material. I discovered a book I hadn't seen in two decades. Oh. And I looked at the book and I discovered that this book is 39 years old. Oh, wow. One of the top people, both in science fiction and also in nonfiction, was a gentleman named Isaac Asimov. And this book is called Isaac Asimov on Science Fiction. I opened up the book at random and I discovered a key to a better life just when I saw a particular story he wrote. He expressed this true story right in the middle of the book. So what happened was he had a friendship with John W. Campbell Jr., one of the best science fiction editors ever. Mm. A friend of his who helped him come up with the ideas of the three laws of robotics, mm. mm -hmm. which has affected science fiction ever since. Mm -hmm. The thing is, John W. Campbell Jr. and Isaac Asimov fell into this horrible argument and it just escalated. John's wife, Peg, saw this. And then finally, when these guys were hammering on each other, even with letters, she read these letters and she saw what was happening and she told both of them, any more and the friendship will be destroyed. And this argument is not worth a friendship. Mm -hmm. She had an impact on these two men and they just dropped the argument. They moved on to talk about other things and they had years of friendship beyond this moment mm -hmm. because of her. She was the peacemaker. Mm -hmm. And so years later, John Campbell died and Isaac Asimov ended the chapter inside this book with then Peg died too in 1979, but I remember her. Wow. And here's the thing, this phrase, but I remember her, stayed in my mind just like the chorus of a song that would not leave. Mm -hmm. And I realized that Peg affected two people, her husband and Isaac Asimov, but also there was a ripple effect to so many other people because together as friends, they could create more and more and serve more people. It was all about where is the focal point? Peg focused on peacemaking. Mm. And so recently a friend of mine invited friends on Facebook to say three words, describe yourself in three words. And when I think of Peg, I think of peacemaker, friend, memorable. Mm, mm -hmm. And so that becomes the challenge. How do we pull ourselves back from social media, pull ourselves back from broadcast news, pull ourselves back from things that are in the world, some of the things we cannot change directly? Step off of social media. I'm with you. I keep up, but I choose what part of the day to take a look mm -hmm. to see what's going on. I do not start my day with social media. I do not start my day with broadcast news. I do not end my day with broadcast news. I choose when in the day to catch up on things that are not essential for me to know. Mm -hmm. But I don't spend my time. I have relatives who leave the television on hour after hour after hour. If you walk into their living space, it's like a battle zone. Mm. And people did that during 9-11. They left CNN on that it became CNN-itis. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. Let's take the lesson from this material from Isaac Asimov when he identified Peg as an influential person. 
Mm -hmm. And then let's take this other idea. Describe yourself in three words. Joanna, how would you describe yourself in three words? Dedicated, imaginative, and artist. Excellent. What I really appreciate about those three words is that you have control over that. Mm -hmm. In any given day, you could do something that could relate to any one of those three words, dedicated, imaginative, artist, or all three. Mm -hmm. That's where you have the power. You have the control. You can every day build up yourself. I often have this phrase that I share with my clients. I say, does this strengthen me? Mm. And you can strengthen yourself. And that's what we're talking about, how to strengthen yourself in a crisis. From this base, this solid foundation, you can do other things in the world, have mm -hmm. a positive impact. For myself, I identified three words too. Mm. Service-focused, trustworthy, courageous. And for the things that I do creatively, whether it's nonfiction books or articles or this podcast or it's a trilogy of novels that I'm completing, the topic is generally storm. Mm -hmm. All of these things take courage. Since one of my focus point words is courageous, mm -hmm. then I can push through whatever fear. I can push through whatever hesitation or emotional resistance. And this is what I'm sharing here is the idea is you discover your strength in a crisis when you focus and you can choose that focus and you can identify those things which are under your control. Every message, every email, I can be service focused in how I respond to people and I show up on time or a bit early for any appointment, I am trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And if I feel any hesitation about releasing a new article to medium.com or anything like that, I can remind myself I act in a courageous way. Mm -hmm. This is a good time for a Marku moment. That's when I share an excerpt from one of my 48 books up on Amazon. And the book we're talking about this time is Soar, Nothing Can Stop You This Year. The subtitle is How to Unleash Your Hidden Power to Persuade Well, Get More Done, Gain Sudden Profits, Command Intuition, and Feel Great. Wow, I need to read that. Well, wow, thank you. And this is an anniversary edition. So I reimagined certain parts and I certainly revised certain parts and I added to it. We now go to page 176. And the question is, how can you respond instead of react? Mm. And there are three elements. Breathe, observe, shift. So the first part here, breathe. Breathing deeply is the first step to calming down so that you do not react immediately. You can say a prayer in your own mind, like, higher power, please help me calm down now. Mm -hmm. Second part is observe. Researchers note that people who meditate daily develop the ability to connect with their observer. So the idea of the observer is that there's a part of you that can calmly look at the situation. Look at your ego getting upset and say silently, oh, there I go again. And then the third part, after you have observed the situation, is shift. To shift, use a physical movement. For example, I sit down if I feel some agitation. Mm -hmm. I recall having a heated conversation with my sweetheart. I sat down on the stairs. And as she started to move away from me, I shifted to a lower stair. <laughs> so this is from the book, Soar, Nothing Can Stop You This Year. Joanna, I'm curious. What are you going to keep from our conversation? Turn off broadcast news. I'm with you. Do not let it stay on all day mm -hmm. long, keeping you in a situation of red alert. And it said that people's stress hormone, cortisol, really takes over mm -hmm. and causes physical trouble. Yeah, it can really raise your anxiety. Exactly. So you can keep up, but you don't have to be in red alert state all day long. You can choose. And as we talked about, you can pick three empowering words, your focal point advantage, so that you will have some control and some progress every day. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Tom. This broadcast is brought to you by... Tom's online course at Udemy.com. Yes, I'm really excited about my online course. It's called Your Secret Charisma. More confidence and more sales. My other courses include Success Secrets, Confidence and Skills to Handle Toxic People. Another course is Darkest Secrets of Persuasion and Seduction Masters, How to Protect Yourself and Turn the Power to Good. And another course is Darkest Secrets of Film Directing. Click to subscribe to this channel.
And then you'll be supporting Johanna, me, and our message. Tom helps people in other ways. As a spoken word strategist and executive coach, I help people really connect and get yes. I help them with their speeches, pitches, video marketing, and networking. And I help them prepare for that crucial life-changing meeting. As you're ready to go to the next step, see special videos, find out about my books and coaching at getthebigyes.com forward slash next step. And so remember, perform at your best with words, strategy, and rehearsal for your success.